And hello everyone, welcome to this Make Code for Microbit show. My name is Pelly. Uh, my name is Emil. I'm a member of the Make Code team and today we're going to be building a game uh, about potatoes and microbits. The hot potato game. Yeah. So Emil, I thought this time we would actually start from... Uh, do you know the hot potato game? Yeah, right. Right, yeah. you... You throw the potato, right? You throw the potato around and then there's a timer in the potato and after a while... So you throw the potato around and then eventually the, the potato clock runs out. Yeah. And if you have the potato in your hand, yeah. you, lo you lost. It's a lot of luck. It's a lot of luck. <laughs> so we're going to do that today. You can see there is... We got a potato, just for fun, for the yeah. micro bit. And we're going to write that game without a tutorial oh, yeah. on our own. So let's go ahead and uh, create and go to makecode.microbit.org. And you can do that in your browser, makecode.microbit.org. You, you don't need the hardware. You don't need a potato to do this lesson. Um, you can do it all in the browser. Once you have the, if you can order the microbit, it'll be more fun to do it for real. So you can follow that along. If you're watching this in YouTube, you can right-click twice in the video uh, and select picture-in-picture, picture, and then you'll be able to follow along and do the activity together. All right, Emil, let's go. Let's start a new project. We have everything at the start. I'm like in the tutorials. What did I do? I zoomed out for some reason. I'm just yeah. Reset. Okay. Um, so yeah, we are. Hold on. Let me uh, let me move my video here. Uh, we moved a bit. There we go. Get out of the way from the buttons. Technical hey, moving out. Okay. Let's think about this hot potato game. So really what happens is you start a timer. Mm -hmm. You know, you start counting down the seconds. Yeah. When it reaches zero, you basically, you lost. Right? The person who has the potato lost. Yeah. So we're going to try to translate that into a game yeah. into code. So we have an idea of a game and we have to translate it into code. That's a lot of what professional coders do. Yeah. Okay, so do you have an idea how to start? Um, you will, once it starts, you have to set the time. We have to kind of maintain some kind of a time. So it seems that we're going to need some, some data. We're going to maintain, it's like a, a countdown app, really. Yeah. So how about we create a variable. Oh yeah. That is going to be our timer. Timer. All right. And uh, how do we start the game? Set timer. Do you, we want to? Do you want to use buttons? Or I think buttons probably not a bad idea because this thing is going to be shaking a lot. Oh yeah. Um, so let's see. Input. So in input, we see all our sensors. We can use buttons. We can use gestures. We're just going to use a button to start the game. So let's break that in and maybe we... Do AB. AB, okay. Right. All right, so when you press AB on the potato... On the micro bit. Which on is the on micro the bit, which, uh, which is stuck on the micro bit, you start your timer. So let's do that in code. So starting the timer means storing a value in the timer variable. That's really what it means. So if you go to variables... And get this set block. Now, how much? How much? And these are going to be, let's say, seconds. Yeah. How many seconds do you want to wait? Thirty. Thirty. Or is that now, a bit short? That might be a long time. Uh, Think okay. about it. Twenty. Twenty. Now, what happens if you play a game and it's always the same time? You have to do a random between. Uh, random. Let's see. So random is in math. And if you don't know where random is, you can search for it. Oh, no, random's in logic. Oh, no, it's not. It's in math. And we get this pick random. We slap it in there. Oh, okay, so what's the minimum amount of time? Like 10. Really? Or okay. 5. 5. Yeah, 5 and then 10. 10. 5 through 10? Okay. 5 through 10. 10 through 15. Through 15. So we're going to. So the potato will take 5 through 15 seconds to uh. blow up, which is really fun. Uh, so you really don't know. You have to pass it along. Mm -hmm. Now. It's like that game where there's a pig, and then you pass him around, and then if you're in his hand, he farts. 
Now, how are we going to implement the game? So first, we need to tell the player that the game has started. Uh, so one way to do it, how about we get rid of the on start and forever and then zoom in, zoom in a bit. There we go. So to tell the player that we started, what could we do? Um, well, we get an on start. Oh, no. Think online. about output. So how do you show? So what do we have on the micro bit? If you look at the micro bit real quick, we've got obviously, yeah, show LEDs. So we can we can use that to, so I mean, you, you press on the button, you want to make sure the, mm -hmm. the timer started. So we could either draw or an LEDs or we could use show icon. And you're going to do what, an X? No, because that would mean it's not as well. How about just go and show icon and find something? There you go. Let's see. Is there Maybe just a... Uh, we could do show string, but that would take too long. Yeah, it would take too long. I'd do a checker flag. No, checker flag. Oh, wait, there's a flag? Yeah, that's kind of a flag. Chessboard. Chessboard. All right, let's do that. Okay. So you press the button, you see chessboard, and now we need to start the countdown. Now, how would we spend time and decrement that, that little timer? It's easy in an arcade. Uh, so, no, just looking. So repeat is a good one. Imagine you, so here's the thing you could do. Every second, you could you could, in a loop, go down and remove the value of the... So I grab this? Or I would say while true, yeah. which is another fun one. Let's say that. So while true, we can put it there, and we can loop. So while is a looper, so it's going to mm -hmm. loop. And the condition is going to be that we want the timer to be what? I mean, once you've reached zero, Ooh, typically. I think I know. I think I know. So you're going to this. Uh, no. So you want to test that what? That you, what, ha what does it mean running Change. out of time? Change, yes. Timer by. Timer by one. So you're going to increment, you're going to add one to do your timer. I'm going to add one? Yeah, you add one in that. You want to remove one? I mean, in hot potato, you remove one when it hits zero. Yeah, but right now you're in the loop and you're adding one. By negative one? By negative one. Yeah. And actually, we can do something really cool. Let's see. If we go here. Oh. Well, okay. Maybe another day. Um, um, change time by one. So while true repeats that forever. In fact, if, you, if we go in slow-mo. So go in slow-mo and run the code. So press A, B. See what it does. It's, it's kind of, well, it's working, it's repeating, and it's, re, and it's reducing timer forever, but nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Uh, so what we're missing is okay. we need to tell, we need to figure out what to do here. When do we stop? When it's false. No, I mean, no. When it's false, yes. And okay. what we're trying to figure out is when we run out of time. And running logic? out of time means yeah, it's probably in logic. Oh, now that's an if. We're looking for uh, a diamond shape block condition. So running out of time means our timer kind of run up. Our timer variable oh, yeah, yeah. has reached what? Zero. Zero. Okay. So what we want to check is that we're going to continue while our timer variable is what? No, while time variable is greater than... Greater than zero. Yes. Because as we remove stuff from it, it's going to eventually be false. So if you press AB, now you see it's repeating, 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 and eventually it's going to stop. Oh. Now we... So what happens after after we're done counting? We need to tell the player 
who has the um, potato in the hand that he's dead, right? Um, do if? Well, actually, what's going to be very interesting is that once this is false, it's going to run the code right here. So we don't need an if. We just need to put something under um, it. So it's just oh, you want to show an icon? Could just show an icon. Oh, yeah, I could show an icon. And that is pretty sad. There we go. So let's see that in slow mo. So in slow mo, things looks pretty good. We loop around, we remove our timer, and eventually. So one quick tip, you know, when you're testing this, you could reduce the values here, and you would have to wait. Now, what happens when I remove slow mo? Let's try it again. Try it again. Oh, that was fast. Try one more time. Super fast. Uh, see, see how it's so fast. It changes it like super fast. It doesn't. Um... Oh, this is so cool. It's still tracing, woo! But not in slow mo. This is really cool. It's a little it bug a in our editor. <laughs> it's a glitch. Okay. Uh, super. See how fast it is. So you know the reason why? You don't wait. And the yeah. computer is really fast. So the computer is like minus 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 minus, and it's done like in. In milliseconds. Pause. Ah, you want to put a pause. Yeah, exactly. Now, how much do you want to pause? Um, Did we say it was seconds? No, pause like one yeah. second. So if, you, if your number is 10, you're going to pause 10 times one second. So you're going to pause 10 seconds. And basically okay. here you've got a hot potato game. Um, let's try it on, the, on our potato here. So what we're going to do is uh, download it. Download so you it to the right code. Connect your micro bit with the micro USB cable. Save link as, and the send it to the drive. To drive. Yep. And now we are in the micro bit land. It stopped. It's it's flashing in the back, yeah. so it's transferring. Oh yeah, it's flashing. And now we should we should maybe have something in on start that oh yeah the game started we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on we don't know pass it around pass it around <laughs> pass it back put it back on the table you know, five to fifteen seconds is a long time oh there we go sad face sad face. Okay, let's put it to 10. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Play. And one thing maybe we want to do is on start, um, scroll that it's hot potato game. Oh, yeah. And that's helpful because then when it turns on, we know that we're playing the hot potato and not some kind of other game. Now, the other thing we could do is, while it's counting, we could maybe animate the screen a bit. Like, we could show a timer. Well, no, because the whole point is you don't know. Oh, yeah, OK. What we could do is blink an LED. So if you go in LED, <laughs> there's a very cool block, uh, which I use a lot. It's called toggle. And what we're going to do is going to toggle the center LED right there. So the center LED, if you put your mouse over it, you'll see it's 2-2. Two, two. Because we start, we have five LEDs and we start counting at zero. So what's that going to do is that while the game is running, it blinks and also tells you that kind of the micro bit is not dead, it's still alive. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of helps to have, now if we press AB, So we should remove the checkerboard. Now we could make the blinker. Oh. Uh, actually, the checkerboard is helpful. I like it. Okay. What? It does what it's done. Oh. Yeah, this hot potato is annoying when we're debugging. So while we're debugging, let's get rid of it. 
That's just when you're really done done with the game. Let's get out of here. <coughs> get out of here too. Let's see. It's going. It's going. Yeah, it does what it does it's supposed to do, and it blinks. So now we know it's it's still alive. Okay. Uh, we can. Okay, let's let's put it on the hardware. Save us. And let's go. Do we have a battery pack for the micro bit? Uh, do we have a battery pack for the micro bit? It's yes, we do. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Hold Is it done blinking? Yes. Yeah. It works. We're going to attach our battery pack to the micro bit. Hold on. Turning on the battery pack. Battery pack operational. Take the battery pack okay. to the potato. Take the battery pack. And now we're going to go full screen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Need a bit more tape here. No. Nope. Hey, this is sad face. We lost. Wait, 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 wait. This is what streamers would normally have. All. <laughs> all right, so we've got the battery pack attached. Now we're gonna go to the big camera and play the game. Let's see what's going on with this okay, camera. Okay, fine. bring the potato here. It's gonna be between me and Emil. And Zilly, so we are Dead. gonna reset the micro bit. I'm gonna start it, we're start it, and then I'm gonna wait a little bit for Emil. <laughs> yeah, keep showing it, keep showing it. Oh, you lost! <laughs> I was gonna hold it for longer than you it. All right, let's try, but he, hold it this way so that we can see it. All right, start. And then, ooh. Zilly, your turn. Keep keeping it in. Hold it. Yours, yours. <laughs> no, you cannot take it. Okay, I lost again. <laughs> All right. So what we did today is the amazing hot potato game. You click the double A and uh, it plays a game. You can see it's blinking in the center, so we know it's running. And this was the lesson for today. This is the final code. We'll have a tutorial soon on the editor. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for another Make Good for Microbit lesson. Oh. Let's, let's stop the recording. Oh, yeah.